else having an issue, I would be surprised. Um, turned on my APU. It was heating fine. Well, apparently sometime in the middle of the night, because most of you know that an APU also charges your batteries. So it went and started up to start to charge my batteries. Well, the only thing I can think of is because I replaced those two lines. Um, it's uh, over here. A lane you know, closure the, was reported on I-80. The uh, APU is overheating, so it shuts itself down, just like you know your motor does. The computer tells it, "Oh, it's getting warm." So, so the only thing I can think of is there must be a way, or, and I got, I want to find it out in case this ever happens again, where. Um, There must be a, a special, a different way when you got an APU to bleed the uh, air out of the system. Now I can't believe that because they put the new valve on. Because I don't know, uh, don't know if my one video I was saying that uh, the um, old valve had been on there so long, the thing, the shut off. Put, frozen open so there's no way to ever shut the uh, um, water off even if you did have a line that wouldn't take. Now the first thing I did when I did my pre-trip this morning is check to see if they inadvertently left the valve closed and it's in the same position the old valve was showing that it should be open and flowing fine. So the only other thing I can think of is there's an air bubble in there and they just assumed it would, because it's tied in with the system, that it would bleed itself out. Either that or a sensor went bad. Um, not that it would be beyond that. And like I said, I know it starts. It's not, you know, one of the switches is uh, is turned off because when I woke up and I was freezing, um, I turned the heat back on and batteries were low enough that it would start the uh, APU. Right on and I ran 21. for about, I don't know, just an, uh, long enough that uh, it... The uh, alternator kicked in and started charging, you and then two mile, seconds later right it shut off. West ramp. So I had to idle my truck the rest of the night, and uh, luckily my load that I'm picking up goes right back to Joliet. So I'll and it's a drop and hook. Although I never ever get. Um, loads out of uh, our uh, empty trailer on this Home Depot warehouse. So more than likely I'll bobtail back to the yard and then leave tomorrow morning early I want to get to Turn right on I east west, um, then keep right. To Thermal King no later than 8 o'clock so I can get in because if it's something simple like a sensor or turn uh, right onto the IED West ramp you know it's got an air bubble in it now the trick will be that if they put the uh, um, keep right to I-80 merge onto I-80 West you know, hook up the valve rung, that'll take a little longer, but they would know that better than Thermal King would. I mean, better than International would. Um, so we shall see what happens tomorrow, because I sure as hell, not with the cost of fuel, I'm going to idle my truck for four weeks.
Well, we got checked in. We're getting unloaded now. Nice place. I mean, I checked in 45 minutes early. They gave me a door and they are offloading me already. Now I'll go up to my next load, pick that up, and more than likely I can run that straight through. And since it's a drop and hook, I'll drop and hook, and then like I said in my previous comment, um, hopefully I'll get a trailer, because I'd rather not bobtail <laughs> with their whole king, but go over there and hopefully they get this issue resolved, and uh, fairly quickly, and then I can... Uh, Maybe pick up a load and get rolling for the weekend. If not, I might just come back and go to the loves. Or go back to our yard and uh, maybe Saturday morning go over to the loves because at least they have Wi Fi I can use or figure out what our Wi Fi local Wi-Fi is so I can do these videos and get them uploaded. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit uh, once we get over to our pickup. So, uh, 
we'll see you in a little while once we get rolling this is probably something I don't have to worry about uh, um, scaling so we'll go from there Just in case. And 
Turn right on US 6. Hopefully they'll get this flow problem down so that I have my APU working back again. Like I said, it's it's one of three things I would think. Either it just so happens that the water pump went out on the APU at the same time. You never know. Um, it's an air bubble in there. Or when these guys plumb the new switch, they reverse some hoses and it's not flowing through the uh, APU. Or the switch works weird and instead of normally the lever goes down to show flow, unless it's a weird one and it's got to go the opposite way to show flow. But Thermo King usually is really good about taking care of me, so. In two and three quarter miles, arrive at 3200 uh, Channel One Road, Joliet, Illinois, 60436 on the right. They'll know if, if these plumbed it wrong. Arriving at 3200 Chanwin Road, Joliet, Illinois, 60436, on the right.
while we're at the terminal, got a trailer. Not most people would be like, oh yeah, it's almost brand new. <clears throat> That's the kind of trailer I want. Me, I'd rather have 1734 over there. It's a utility. Um, a 16. These guys pretty much keep their trailers pretty up to snuff. But like a seven, a low 17 or a high 16 would be perfect. Just because uh, the tracks are spaced closer together. This one, if I get ingots in the next four weeks, <clears throat> it's a little pain in the butt to strap down and that. But I've done it before in this trailer, so it's not impossible. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully, like I said, this is a minor fix. I can have my APU back working again, and he gets done, and I can go get a trail or go get a load real quick to cover me for the weekend. It'll be short, so I have my 34-hour reset. But uh, hopefully, um, I can find something. All right, we'll see you in the morning.